Tesla's new autopilot update is extremely sensitive and today we're going to test out just how sensitive it is and see what we can get away with while we're on autopilot. Okay, so how you're supposed to use autopilot, if I look forward, put it on, it's not going to ding me. This is how you're supposed to drive, hands on the wheel technically. It might beep at me every minute or so, but this is how you're supposed to use autopilot. Now with the new update, I'll take it off here. What people are noticing is how sensitive it is. So what I noticed too, is if I turn it on and look at the screen to confirm that it's on, it doesn't, it doesn't even like that quick little look down, so it'll beep at me. So I'm gonna test that right now. I'm gonna look here and turn it on. And there we go. Within like two seconds, it's like, please pay attention to the road, which is crazy. Um, Cause I wanna, you know, I wanna make sure that I turn it on. You hear the beeps, but I just wanna see the screen that the blue lines are actually on. And I'll do it one more time, just to confirm. That was like half a second. That's how crazy it is. So. When you turn it on, you have to look forward or else it'll beep at you right away. Now I'm curious to see if I'm looking out like the side mirror or the side window, like I'm still technically looking at the road. So let me test that here. I'll look out the window at the mirror, look around, not forward, looking around. And it seems to be okay with that. Hands off the wheel, I haven't gotten a beep yet. So if you're looking around, it seems okay. Now I'm gonna see how long it'll take for me to do this. Now I'm gonna look at the screen. One, two, three, four, five. And it seems okay. So you can look at the screen, I guess, after for like six seconds maybe. Um, but if you look at it right away, it's gonna tell you, hey, don't do that. But if you turn it on, pay attention, and then you wanna look and do stuff, you got about five or 10 seconds to do so. So we can see it's pretty sensitive when you're looking here especially and you can imagine looking at your phone texting something like that it's going to get you right away so it's very sensitive what i'm going to do now is try it with sunglasses because that way it can see your head but it can't track your eye movement with the in-cabin camera so i'm going to put these on here let me get over one lane so i don't exit and then what i'm going to do i'm going to look here at the screen tilt my head a little bit this way turn it on and see if it dings me. So I'm, my head is here, my eyes are over here just so I'm safe, I'm not staring at the screen. But you can see, it used to take two seconds to ding me, but now, even with my head facing this way, it's not. It's letting me drive safe. So that's interesting. I'm gonna take it off now. And one last thing I wanna do with the sunglasses on, I'm gonna look down like this, like ridiculously, not at the road at all. My eyes will be up here, so don't worry but I'm going to look like this and drive. So looking forward with my eyes, my head is down and it beeped right away. So if I'm like blatantly not looking at the road, it'll see that. But if I have sunglasses on, I can be a little more lenient with my eyes looking at other things and it won't yell at me right away. And the thing with this now is that another update with the new autopilot is that if it beeps at you plenty of times, it, it can kick you out of autopilot, and that's happened to me twice already, and if it does that, you get five strikes. So if you if it dings at you a lot, and you're kind of ignoring it, not paying attention, it'll give you a warning here, and if you get five warnings, what happens is that you're banned for a week from using autopilot. So that's, you know, take that with what you will, but that's also part of the new update as well. So it's more sensitive, and it can kick you out. So I understand the, the argument that it's much more safe, it's gonna knock you for texting and not paying attention, things like that, so I get that. But on the other hand, with Tesla going more and more towards autonomy and truly full self-driving, it almost feels like a step backwards where it, it's more just attentive to you being more attentive on the road, which you can argue, I mean, again, it's probably safer that you pay more attention, but if we wanna make this claim that Tesla will be full self-driving completely in the next few months or a few years, or maybe never if you ask some people, um, this is a step in a backwards direction, in my opinion, that you're able to do less when the car is driving. So let me know what you guys think, but I understand, like I said, I don't wanna hear that it's safer and it's better because I get all that. I'm just saying, if we're gonna keep on moving towards autonomy, I think fully autonomous is something where you can do other things while the car drives itself and be productive and save that time. And this seems like a step in the wrong direction. But let me know what you guys think. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.